Southern style catfish nuggets. Let's get it. Okay, so look, we're just gonna go right over these ingredients because listen, I don't wanna make it no more complicated than it is. This is really super easy. As you can see, we got a few ingredients here, but listen, it's gonna be a lot of put in the bag, shake it, dip it in wet, and then go. And then over here, this is where we're gonna get our flavor from, folks. If you've been following me for a minute, you know you got to have yourself some of that. Now, with that being said, let's look at the star. These are the stars right here. I got some more catfish off to the back. You guys can't see it, but look, instead of me doing whole fillets, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down into nuggets, and we finna get it, folks. Now look, we got dry ingredients, right? But we want to take our seasoning. Look, you just want to take all of your seasoning and put it in a bowl. Remember, this is the key to making everything simple, right? And just for the sake of filming, what I did was I put them in these individual bowls. But you just want to take all of these seasonings, put them in a bowl, and then we're going to mix them right here, just like this. This right here is how we're going to get that flavor. This is what makes ours over the top. Why? Because listen, we season it and it's gonna be seasoning at every stage. Okay, so now that this is done, right, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna say get yourself a, a you know, a Ziploc bag, right? Because now we wanna take our ingredients here. You wanna take your flour and put everything in here. And I don't know if I said this already, and excuse me for making a mess, but if I hadn't said it, don't forget the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. But this is what you wanna do. You wanna get this in here, right? And the reason I use a Ziploc, because listen, we gonna save it. What we want to do is just like Granny did. You know what, we had them bags. I know I grew up like that. Had them bags, some said fish fry, chicken fry, all of that. So we just want to mix this in here. Now you just want to take yourself, I'll say two to three tablespoons, you know, your seasoning. Now listen, I know this is not ran with a knife and over the top. I said, these are more like heaping, but that's cool because we got a place for this too. But like I said, we want to have seasoning and great taste throughout. So I'm gonna just let some of this air out like that. Keep a little bit in there. And guess what? We finna just mix this up and get this going. Okay, so look, now what we gonna do is we gonna go ahead and get our wet station together, right? Let me just go ahead and get these eggs in here like this. Super easy, folks. And if you follow it the way I'm doing it, you know what I mean? It just won't be no chore. This will be something you'll enjoy to make. You know what I mean? It'll probably make this all the time. So now I just add my mustard. Now my hot sauce. This right here, give it that, that southern kick right here. Now you guys can use the, you know, hot sauce that you like. You know what I mean? Most of the time when I cook with hot sauce, I'm e either using truff or I'm gonna use uh, Frank's. Okay, now you just wanna go ahead and just mix. Get that egg to incorporate with everything that you put inside. And I want you guys to notice that I used a large bowl. That serves a purpose, right? So like if you're gonna go ahead and use fillets, you can, you know, at least you got enough room to work, you know? Okay, so once I got it, you know, mixed, incorporated, look, we got to add our seasoning. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this inside of here. Remember, we build a layer, so we got the wet tasting good. We got a little seasoning in our dry. So I want you guys, you, you should be able to imagine how it's going to work out. This right here gives it that texture too. You can see it. Okay, so now we're getting down to the good part, right? I would, like I said in the beginning, I said I was going to go ahead and do catfish uh, nuggets, but you see this right here? I think, man, this is a nice piece. I'd like to have this with some red beans and rice and yada, 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 right? I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and do one hole, and this one right here, I'll go ahead and cut this down, you know, into nuggets, right? So when I do nuggets, look, I just want to show you this. I cut them down in any kind of slice that I like them to look. I got no method to this madness right here. This is just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, these right here just make for a good, imagine that fried up and then I'm hitting it in that, that Cajun tartar sauce. That right there be fire. This right here, just more like a, almost like a, a fit, catfish stick. You know what I mean? But I like them to be meaty like that. Now that I got them cut, I know my oil is up to temp. So let's go ahead and make them. I set it for 375. I back it up just a little bit. That's good enough for me. The light's not on. That tells me we up to temp, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start with my nuggets first. I'm gonna go ahead and just put these in here just like this. Me, I like to cook with my hands, you know what I mean? You've been following me for a minute, you know I like that, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead. It feels like it might be a little, you know, a little bit on the messy side, but that's okay. And check it out, you know, fish is really absorbent. 
So look, by you putting it in here, if you let this sit just for a few minutes, you know what I mean? This will absorb some of this flavor in the inside. But don't forget, we already seasoned this and got that going. Now, you wanna open up your bag. So let me go ahead and pull this up, leave that like that. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna drop these, these nuggets in here like that. And then you remember Granny? You remember that paper bag? You remember that shake and bake? Hey, you remember they used to have something called shake and bake. But check it out, that's what we getting down with. All right, so I'm gonna just stick it in here like that. I'm gonna take this glove off, clean everything up, and then we go from there. All right, so look, I just went ahead and took my gloves off. I'm just gonna roll this around just a little bit like that. And guess what, folks, it just gets coated. Just, hey, real simple, you know? Now, you remember I said we gonna use them tongs? This is where we use them at. Look, you guys find out which way that makes sense to you and how you wanna get down and all of that. But for myself, I know I'm gonna run through a couple of sets of gloves, right? So I just give it a shake like this. I just leave it like this, just put it right here and just leave them. Then I'm gonna repeat the process for the rest of the nuggets. I'm gonna fill this up and then guess what? We finna dip, dunk, cook, fry, whatever verbiage you'd like to use and we are gonna go from there. Okay, so you see I got these nuggets right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop these in here just like this. Oh yeah. Nothing like having your grease at the right temperature. You know what I mean? So you can put them in here. Now I'm gonna wait, I guess in about maybe one minute, nah, maybe about a minute and a half, then I'm gonna take them and just shake them a little bit just to make sure that they don't stick to the basket. But these right here are gonna be fire. Now, if you guys look right here, I got myself a you know a paper lined plate. You know, I just wanna put them on here and we'll just set them there. For best results, you want everything to stay nice and crispy, go ahead and use a cooling rack. Set them on there and let them drip from there. Just put the paper underneath, put them on a cooling rack and let them go. But I'm gonna do it old school. Let's take a look at them right now. Look at that color. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and lift them up right here. That right there is what you want, folks. Look at these right here. Oh yeah. Man, my mouth is watering just, you know, just looking at them. And I got it, they're a little bit big on the, you know, for some, you know what I mean? Some people like theirs to be more like bite size. But for me, I like to know that I got something that I can dunk. But this right here, you put these out, these don't last long, folks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do that whole filet, and then we're gonna finish up, and then we're gonna take a taste test. Okay, so now we'll put the whole filet in here just like this. Now this right here, this is, like I say, this is gonna be my piece. Ah, yeah. Got him, folks. Okay, so let's just go ahead and look and see what we got here. Look at this color right here. Ah, yeah. But the main thing is, everybody wanna know how it's gonna taste, right? I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna taste. Great, I didn't have a piece already of these nuggets and I can tell you it's seasoned right. That's the difference. When you guys go out and you go buy something, listen, it's never seasoned the way we are used to it, right? But this right here is nice. Now I'm gonna wait, just give it a couple of minutes, let it cool down enough so I can put my hands on it. I'm gonna break it and I'm gonna show you just how flaky and how moist everything is still gonna be in the inside. And if you guys take a look right here, listen, this is that Cajun tartar sauce that I made. I'll go ahead and put the ingredient list down in the description box below along with the rest of the ingredients. But this right here is fire, folks. I went ahead and just put these on a plate, right? This right here, this is what you guys want to see. I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up like this. If I grab it like this, and then I just break it open like this, look at that right there. You want to talk about, oh, you can see the steam, I can feel the heat, oh my goodness. This right here is fish. And I want to tell you this right now, folks, this is hot. So, as you can see, nice, cooked well, flaky in the inside, still moist. Listen, you gotta go ahead I'm gonna save this, cause listen, I'm gonna go ahead, and actually I told you guys that's all me, I'm gonna share that. You know what, we having red beans and rice, we gonna have a little catfish too, and a little uh, southern cornbread, you know, muffins, all of that. Hey, anyway, now that I got you guys going, I'm just gonna go ahead, take one of these, I'm gonna dip. Oh man. Hey, you know what, I'm not gonna over talk it, check it out. Cheers, folks. Mm. Woo! Listen, I'm gonna say this. Everybody know how to make fish, and those who don't, this is a great recipe to follow. You guys gotta follow it to a T, right? Because if you knew, listen, it's all in the seasoning. That's what I wanna try to like get everybody to understand. Listen, if you season your wet, and then you season the dry, that combination, and I'm giving it to you right there. Remember, I just put like three heaping tablespoons of my whole total mixture inside of my flour, 
You know what I mean? That right there was just enough. And I'm gonna tell you the key. The key is, listen, I level everything up with Creole Kick by Sweet Smokey Joe. This right here, when I tell you it's fire, it's fire. And the number one thing is for me, for those of you guys that know anything about hypertension or anything like that, listen, this is low in sodium. So listen, when you use these, this combination of flavor, you know, this seasoning in your food, and then you wake it up with your own individual person, each individual person can just wake it up with their own, you know, salt. But I can promise you here, I didn't even really need no salt. This right here is like train, like my palate just jumped flipped or did whatever it did it backwards listen i'm not trying to over talk it i'm not trying to sell no seasoning but if you guys don't have it you got to try it i promise you if you read the comments everybody that has it they come back and they tell me they swear by it. and i can see the way it moves off the shelf that it's a great product hey with that being said listen if you're new to my channel let me just take this time to say hey thank you for watching this video don't forget to like smash that subscribe button and i want you guys to tell everybody out there listen it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and with that being said folks i'm about to dip and eat. I'm out. Peace.